Speaking of things that are completely different, explain to me now why Adam Cole's own friends are telling him he's just a big wuss and he can't beat MJF. I, I, I can't explain any of this. Okay, he comes out for story time with Adam Cole, baby, and they'll still do Boom, and they'll still do Baby, but then he basically, you know, I'm just, I'm bummed that I'm not getting MJF at full gear, but at least Roddy succeeded, and he's going to whip MJF's ass, and then the music plays, and here comes Kyle O'Reilly, who... But he makes note that 14 years ago here in Reading, Pennsylvania, we had our second match together. And if people like, eh, they didn't pop for their own town. Because it, like, it wasn't exactly Hogan and Andre returning to the Silverdome on a 30th anniversary, right? Or whatever. But <laughs> Kyle tells Adam Cole, you got to drop your obsession with MJF. You got to stop having your friends fight your battles for you. It's not healthy. Roddy can get hurt. I mean, I don't know what he's pleading with. He actually said MJF is three steps ahead of everybody. And I don't want to see my friends get hurt. MJF is more of an evil bastard than you'll ever be. And that's a good thing. You're too good of a guy. And so <laughs> I swear to God, he's telling him that you're too good of a guy. You don't have it in you to fuck this guy. He's going to beat the shit out of you. And you're getting all of us hurt too. How, how, what kind of psychology is this? You know, when I was a kid, I used to hear the story. I wish I could remember the principal's name, but the principal at Lido School, Lido Elementary School, was this woman who was getting up there in years and maybe not in step with the rest of the school board or whatever, but they couldn't get her to retire. They had to ask my grandmother knowing she was close with the woman, to take her out to lunch and have a talk with her <coughs> and see if she could understand. And she retired under very pleasurable terms after that. I kind of felt like that's what this was. It was like, <laughs> you're a great guy. You know, you like video games. Maybe yeah. you could do something with video games. Oh, God, damn it. You don't, have, you don't have to go back to this Max thing. No, Nobody wants any more of that. He's right. I mean, everything he was saying was right. <sighs> To his, to his fucking yellow friend. To his, to his yellow friend. <laughs> it, 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 again, looks like a fucking Simpsons character now. With the... <laughs> but so, so basically, that's what he said. MJF is more of an evil bastard than you'll ever be, and that's a good thing. And then he just walked off, uh, O'Reilly did, and left Adam Cole standing there, confused as were the people. Because it was just kind of like... That it's over. There's no, what are we going to be told or understand here? I, so that was that. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe it would have been better if Adam Cole had been a fucking manager because the promos, he could have been cutting all this time and he wouldn't have broke all of his various bones that he's broken in his company as a complete chicken shit, especially with that hair. Just the idea of the hair flying around with a punch or a bump or whatever. Yes. He would have been great. He could have been Bobby Heenan. He could have been the best working manager. Oh. And now his friends are telling him, hey, g give it up, shit. Just stick with the fucking <laughs> mid-card guys, you know, because this fucking guy. <laughs> 